Hey guys, this is Professor MJ and in this video I'm going to reveal something that may be shocking to some of you about NFL betting. In case you don't know me yet, I'm a professor teaching statistics at a Canadian university. My main goal is to increase your sports betting bankroll via some free picks, betting systems and also betting lessons. Today I've got a crazy NFL betting tip for you. Don't try to pick winners. Huh? Now you may be thinking, what? What the heck is wrong with you? Of course I want winners. Section number one, having the right mindset. Here's a very important concept that will be an aha moment for some of you. So pay close attention. What matters the most is not whether your bet wins or loses. It's whether you beat the closing line or not. You have probably heard about how the NFL betting market is very efficient. What this essentially means is the closing lines are very accurate. In other words, NFL closing lines are extremely hard to beat on a long-term basis. Concretely, if you always wait until a few minutes before kickoff to place your bets, you have almost no chance of being a winner in the long run. Now a light bulb should be going off in your head right now. You are better off placing your NFL wagers as early as possible during the week. Section number two, a concrete example. Suppose team A is playing team B. And let's pretend you bet team A minus five points, which means they are five point favorites. If the closing point spread is team A minus six, then you made a good bet no matter if your bet turns out to be a winner or not. On the other hand, if the line goes down to 4.5 or lower, your bet was not profitable. Even if Team A ends up crushing its opponent by 20 points, you should not feel like a winner here. Why? Well, here's a simple truth. If you consistently beat NFL closing line, you will make money in the long run, plenty of it. Section number three, how valuable is half a point in the NFL? From 2005 to 2019, betting all NFL favorites led to 1,859 wins, 1,860 losses and 111 ties. Now suppose you would have placed a one unit bet on each of those games at minus 105 odds, which means 1.95 in decimal format. So therefore each bet lost incurred a one unit loss, while each winning wager brought a 0.95 unit gain. Overall through these 15 seasons, you would have ended up with a profit of minus 93.95 units. Now what if you had beaten the closing line by half a point on all of those games? The 111 pushes become wins, while it seems reasonable to assume that 111 losses would have become ties. So the updated record is now on your screen and the updated profit becomes plus 122.5 units. In other words, you went from losing 94 units to winning 122. So do you see how valuable gaining just half a point can be when betting the NFL? As you can see, it can, it can be the difference between being a loser and a winner when you have a long-term perspective. Section number four, how to beat NFL lines on a long-term basis. I sincerely hope my arguments have convinced you to avoid betting on the NFL at the last minute. 
Here is how you can maximize your chances of beating NFL point spreads in the long run. Be ready to attack opening lines and bet the ones that you believe will move in your favor. So that's it. Theoretically, it's very simple. However, beating closing lines requires a good mix of the following ingredients. Experience, a statistical acumen, good knowledge of team's relative strength, and finally, being up to date on player news and injuries. The final and fifth section, do you want to receive my early NFL picks? Every Sunday, I'm watching four games at the same time at 1 p.m. Eastern, and all 4 p.m. games, thanks to Dazon.com. And obviously, I'm also watching the Thursday, Sunday night, and Monday matchups. So when opening lines are posted by sportsbooks, I am aware of everything that's been happening around the league. Now, coupled with my 20-year experience and statistical background, I'm able to spot point spreads that are likely to move in a certain direction. And as we saw earlier, beating closing lines is the best way to make money in the NFL. Now, do you wish to receive those early NFL picks directly in your mailbox? If so, simply join my mailing list. The link can be found right below this video. Those plays, along with my player proposition bets, have a much higher ROI than my regular picks that are made available at midweek. So, join the numerous other savvy sports investors and let's crush those bookies together. Join the winning mailing list below right now.